Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This channel is a go-to place for 9to5 employees to learn about how to build additional income streams so they can build wealth and enjoy the finer things in life. In today's video, we're going to talk about how to transfer your HSA from health equity to fidelity. By the end of this video, you'll learn about exactly why I decided to make the transfer, how to transfer your HSA from health equity to fidelity, and how long it takes. So if you want to learn about the 360 of how to transfer your HSA from health equity to fidelity, then keep on watching. So let me first walk you through the entire timeline and process. Let's rewind the clock back to December 29th. So on December 29th, I felt this spark of energy to transfer my HSA. And of course, for a couple of reasons too. First of all, health equity does charge more fees in terms of their investments. And they also charge a, an account maintenance fee if your account balance falls below $3,000, which you know is undesirable. In addition to that, they also have limited choices when it comes to investments. And so this has been kind of bothering me in the back of my mind for a really long time. So I finally decided that for my new year's gift from myself to myself, I am going to transfer my HSA. So that is when I decided to pull money from my health equity to fidelity. And so what do I mean by pull? Just think about, you know, the direction. When you push, you go from the from to the to, but when you pull, you go from the to to the from. Does that make sense? Because you're pulling things. So when I say pull, I meant I went on Fidelity and wanted to submit a request, a transfer request. But then after further, further research, I realized that this is actually not a good idea because for one, it actually takes extra long for them to process it. And for two, a lot of people get surprised with a bunch of unexpected fees when they do it that way. And so let me just show you like my whole process. So after further investigation, I saw that, you know, a lot of people were reporting issues with the pull process and it's generally easier to do the push process. So after investigating further, I noticed that a lot of people actually have a lot of more luck in doing the push process and not the pull process. And so that's when I procrastinated more until January 5th to continue my next step, which is the pull method. And on January 5th, I have initiated the transfer process. And keep in mind, there are a couple options over there. When you want to do the full transfer, you actually have to mail it in, which in my opinion is just really old school and unnecessary. When you do the partial transfer, you actually get to do it online. And in my opinion, this is the best option. And also actually the only possible option because you also still have to keep $25 in your account at all times. So since you have to keep $25 in your account, it has to be a partial transfer because you can't transfer every single dollar out of your account. And so in that case, I opted for the partial transfer, which is just an online website with forms that you have to fill in. So here is me on January 5th. All right. So let's do this. Let me share my screen right here. All right. So right now we are starting the HSA partial transfer. The reason why we're doing the partial transfer is because you are actually able to do it online. So I'm going to show you step-by-step -step how to do it. Okay. $25, five business days. Okay, next. And then here I'm just going to fill in all my information. Okay, so here's the reference number. And I'm just going to take a screenshot of this just in case. Now, before I move on to the next step, if you want to learn more about my private wealth community, head over to my comment section and my info box because I have a free group that teaches you all about wealth building. This group will give you tips and tricks on personal finance, income stream creation, and you also get to network with like-minded hustlers. Again, make sure you click that link in my description box and comment section below. Now with that out of the way, let's move on to the next step to transferring my HSA. So on January 19th, the money actually showed up in my Fidelity account, but it was still shown as pending. So you can see the screenshot over here. And now it's January 20th, which is today. The funds have settled and I've also successfully used the funds to buy my favorite index fund, which is F. XAIX. That is the Fidelity 500 index fund. So yay, the entire process took around 15 days. A lot faster than I expected, I must say. One thing that's strange is that I remember doing the math and making it so that my account only has $25 in it. But for some reason, now that I check back at my health equity account, there's actually over $60 in that account. And I was just like, did I, did I make a math mistake? Like, 
that's impossible. I'm an Asian accountant. Like, how can I make a math mistake? I mean, I'm not complaining about more money. What I'm currently doing is that I'm submitting some claims to my health equity account to see if I can actually get reimbursed for these medical expenses. And now at this point of the video, you have learned how to transfer your HSA from your health equity to Fidelity. And you have also learned why I did that and also how long it takes for the entire process to go through. If you haven't already, join my private wealth community linked in the info box and also in the pinned comment below. While you wait for next week's video, I also make other videos about personal finance, stock market investing, and luxury living. So check out these two videos while you're at it. And thank you so much for watching today's video. I'll see you in the next one.